Anyways, I don't know. I need a water to talk about this one. <laughs> I was gonna make coffee, but I don't have any coffee. So I just made a nice, uh, refreshing glass of water. And I encourage you all to do the same. Hey guys, what is up? My name is Shelby and I am so happy that you guys are here for another one of my videos. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about something so exciting and something that I have wanted to like officially announce for a while now. So I've already like talked about it on my channel. If you follow me on Instagram, you know about it and all of that, but I just wanted to like come on here and announce to you all that Semester at Sea is actually happening. Like I am going on the spring 2022 voyage. I don't even really know what to say. For a while now, we've been going back and forth with Semester at Sea, our universities, and everything in between just like seeing if we could go. But early last week, I registered for my classes and I bought my plane ticket to Italy. Yeah, I, I can't believe this. I have a hotel in Italy. I bought my plane tickets Italy like I'm going to Italy no matter what semester at sea finally let us buy our plane tickets to go so we're all going also about a week ago I had to pay my full tuition um so that was uh, a lot but it was exciting that I finally got to like put down some money towards it so I just wanted to come on here and read to you guys the updated itinerary where I'm gonna be going my plans the packing process because I already started purchasing some things and we're just gonna talk about it I'm gonna like stand here so that I can put right here on the screen everywhere I'm going so I just wanted to read that to you guys because every single time I talk about semester at sea I always get out Asked, where am I going so I just wanted to share that with you guys on January 5th I am going to be embarking on the ship in Naples Italy but before I embark I am going to spend five or like four days in Italy and I'm gonna go to Pompeii I'm gonna go to Rome I'm gonna explore Naples so I'm so excited after Italy we go to Greece which is my number one place if I could like pick anywhere in the world to travel to, Greece is my number one. So I can't believe that I am so blessed that Greece is on this itinerary. Like I'm just going to shut up and stop talking about it, but just know like Greece is my number one. Then we're going to go to Israel, which is super cool. We're going to go to Croatia after Israel. And then we're going to go to Malta. We're also going to go to Spain, which is so cool. I get to use some of my Spanish. I know that they don't like really use the same type of Spanish that like we do down here in like South Florida and all of that but it's gonna be kind of similar, so I'm super excited to see like how what I can pick up when I'm over there. Then we get to go to Morocco, which is so awesome! Portugal, France, and I think when I'm in France, I'm gonna like um, buy a plane ticket or a train or something to Paris because we end up in Brest, which is like a, a coastal city, so I think I'm definitely gonna go to Paris. Then we go to Ireland, which is awesome. After Ireland, we go to Poland, and then we get to go to Sweden, and then we disembark in Germany, which is awesome because I am German. When I get to Germany, my sister and her husband are going to fly out to meet me, and then we're all going to fly to Amsterdam to meet the rest of my family over there. It's going to be so awesome. So that's everywhere I'm going. Um, I cannot wait for that. The thing I want to talk to you guys about, which is kind of like interesting to think about, is the voyage number. Nobody's really quite sure what voyage number we are because the last ship that set sailed was 128. And we don't know if we're 129 or if they like keep skipping over the ones that didn't happen. So I think we're either like 129 or we're like 131 or something like that. I think it'd be really interesting to find out what we are. So so if you know what voyage number I am, please comment down below. And next, I just wanted to talk about what I bought so far because I am so excited. I already started buying things, which is like reasonable to think about because I have a countdown going on my phone and there's like 85 days until SAS happens, which seems like a lot of time, but it's also not a lot of time to like get everything to come in and all that. Problem number one that I'm faced with is that I am 
Well, I live in Florida and I have no winter clothes and this voyage is supposed to be very, very cold. So if you guys have any recommendations as to what I should buy because I have zero warm clothes. I've lived in Florida for five years now so I kind of like cycled out of like all my winter clothes. If I have winter clothes, like I grew out of them. So I had to buy a puffer jacket. I also bought another like little cute jacket from Lululemon which is like reversible which I thought was really cool because it's like two jackets in one and then I also bought like this tan one and then I think I'm just gonna buy like another pair of leggings um, I bought a few jeans as well yeah I don't know what else I should wear like on the ship I want to be comfortable so like I don't want to waste like all my space with like these heavy clothes so I don't know help a girl out and let me know what I should get I also bought a suitcase so it hasn't came in the mail yet but I wanted to buy it to like see the size and if I like it and if I like it I'm gonna buy the second one but I'll at least have this one coming. The brand is like Eddie Baker or something whatever it is. I'm gonna insert a picture of it right here. Um, it looks really nice. I saw the reviews and I was on Amazon but the suitcase is there like all the reviews if you read them it was just like it's gonna like break and fall apart so I kind of did splurge and I bought this one but I feel like it'll be really good to have. I also want to buy like packing cubes and like packing organizers so I have those like in a little Amazon wish list that I have saved to the side. I'm not gonna buy them yet but I want to and I'm also looking at like anti-theft purses and backpacks because I need to buy a backpack for like my carry-on and for like when I'm in country and poor, I'm gonna be using a backpack instead of a suitcase. So I kinda need like a big backpack so that I can pack a lot of stuff. And now I just wanna talk to you guys like what's coming up next. So basically I'm just gonna keep buying more things. I'm gonna do hauls on my channel. So if you wanna stay subscribed and stay tuned for those coming, obviously I'm gonna do the pack with me's. I have to completely move out of my dorm. So that video will be coming. And when I come back, I'm not gonna have a place to live. So like I'm putting everything in a storage unit. So that's gonna be really fun to pack up and then take things. So stay tuned for that. And when I actually go to Italy before SAS, I'm gonna film that as well. So you guys should definitely subscribe because I have a lot of cool things coming up. I just wanted to hop on here and express how excited I am. Um, this is an experience of a lifetime and I'm so blessed and grateful that I get to be a part of it and that my voyage is actually happening. I cannot believe I'm saying that. For the longest time we didn't know but like now I'm putting all of my trust and my faith into this and that it will happen. Thank you guys for staying tuned and keeping up with me. Don't forget to subscribe so you guys can keep on keeping up with me. And let me know what you want to see from me or if you want me to film anything in particular. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!